joined today by Dr. Michael Baker, CEO and Managing Director of Aravella Therapeutics. Michael, thanks for your time. Thank you very much for having me, David. Cell therapy technology. Why is it so important and why is Arabella focused on it? Hmm. So why it's so important is where we sit today in terms of cancer treatment. I think we're trying our best to move and evolve away from nasty uh, treatments like chemotherapy. And what we've learned over the last few years or decades even is that modulating the immune system is a great way to do that. And so specifically for the area we work on, which is called cell therapy or more affectionately known as CAR-T, We've seen excellent results in blood cancers where patients are now being cured of those particular diseases. The challenge we see for a CAR-T has really been one about scale, where the therapy needs to start from the, the, the patient's blood and we collect their immune cells to be genetically reprogrammed and given back. And for Aravella, what we're working on is what we call the invariant natural killer T cell, INKT for short, and we're able to take that cell from a healthy donor make the therapy and then give that to more people uh, than we would have seen previously for CAR-T. As you touched on, scale is where the real issue is. How have you gone scaling your technology? A absolutely, and yes, it, ha it has been the issue. And so what we often hear in the industry is people talking about their product is their process, their manufacturing process. So we've spent the last two years or so taking the technology that we license from Imperial College London and taking that from how it exists in the research setting and moving that over into a commercial environment now within cell therapies at the, within the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre. And we announced about three weeks ago that we have been able to do exactly that. We've been able to take these cells from a healthy donor, isolate them, genetically reprogram them and expand them and do that at scale so that we'd be able to be treating multiple patients from each batch that's manufactured. So it's a very big step forward for the company and now that unlocks the ability for us to, to march forward towards clinical trials. Talk about clinical trials, what's the program, what's the process and what should investors be focusing on from these trials? So where we are today, as I said, we've got our manufacturing scale up and process development completed. So the major steps forward are to complete the GMP manufacturing runs, and then we get collect the material from that and perform some final, what we call IND enabling studies. Once they're done, uh, we write up all that information into regulatory dossiers and submit to regulators like the FDA or TGA, and then they give us approval to start phase one. So in and around that, we're expecting a number of news, uh, newsworthy items that will come out in the form of ASX releases. And just to be clear for people, what we're looking at now is what we call CD19 positive blood cancers like lymphoma or leukemia. And so getting our regulatory approval to start that phase one clinical trial, we think will be a transformative event for the company and we're looking to accelerate towards that. And you're not just resting on your laurels with your lead therapy, you're now having scaled up and, and broken that technical barrier are now looking to broaden the capability of what you're doing? Absolutely, so importantly that manufacturing element was critical and to make a new product, we need to change one more raw material, which is a lentivirus, and that gives us the ability to put a different car on the surface of the INKT cell and think about that like a guided missile. And what we're continuously doing is scouring the globe for new cars or missiles. Now we licensed one in in October last year, which targets something called Gladden 18.2. But importantly, that's on the surface of nasty cancers like gastric cancer and even pancreatic cancer. So now that we've got that manufacturing process worked through, we can start looking forward to generating data for our Gladden 18.2 program. And once we're happy with that, it'll go straight into our manufacturing process as well. A lot of work on, and the big question shareholders would ask is, funding. Are you well funded or do you think you will need more money going forward? Look, we're a biotechnology company so we'll absolutely always raise more money, there's no question about that. But let me say that we were delighted with the recent placement we did earlier in the year and we've seen significant uh, improvement of the share price post that placement uh, and we raised $12.5 million. So that's more than enough money for us to get into phase one, start collecting data and so we're in a very good position for that to happen. An important technology a number of barriers broken in exciting times ahead for Aravella and its shareholders. Thanks for your time. Thank you, David. I much appreciate it.